It's May 14th, 2018, and I'm Alex Bennett, and this is News Break. A little quick look at the news for you at the beginning of this week. Israeli soldiers shot and killed at least 41 Palestinians during mass protests along the Gaza border on Monday. It was the deadliest day there since the devastating 2014 cross-border war and cast a pall over Israel's inauguration of the new U.S. Embassy in contested Jerusalem. As you know, we have decided that we are going to open an embassy in Jerusalem and it's just causing nothing but bad will in that part of the world. And I might add that it's not like it's this big embassy. It's not like we're building this giant edifice. I think it's like an office building with two offices in it. That's currently our embassy. We're going to build one, but right now we're just doing this to piss the area off. Israel's prime minister says Jerusalem will always be eternal and undivided as the capital of Israel. In addressing the opening ceremony of the new embassy in Jerusalem, Benjamin Netanyahu called it a glorious day. Uh, he, when's he going to give a blowjob to Donald Trump? Or maybe he has already. That's why he is the way he is. By the way, th this one will get you. There is a guy by the name of Robert Jeffers. Uh, he is uh, Trump's spiritual advisor. Yes. And he gave the opening benediction today at the ceremonies opening the new uh, consulate or embassy in, uh, in Jerusalem. Uh, just for your edification, Jeffers has called Mormons... Jews and Muslims, heresy from the pit of hell. This is who we send over? Oh, my God. And Jared, too. Uh, Trump softened his U.S. trade over the weekend, tweeting on Sunday he would help the Chinese telecommunications company ZTE Corporation back into the business. However, there have been U.S. sanctions against ZTE, mainly because it was doing business with Iran. But somehow, Trump, who is just very hard on this subject, said, eh, well, we want to save Chinese jobs. That's what he said. Well, I'm sorry. Probably wants to open up some trade that we don't have over there. His trade restrictions are really working, aren't they? A new fissure emitting steam and lava spatter, uh, spurred uh, Hawaii officials to call for more evacuations on Sunday as residents brace for an expected eruption from the Kilauea volcano. Right now it's been spewing lava and having streams of lava and so on, but they're expecting a big explosion uh, which is going to throw rocks and stones and everything up into the air. I wouldn't want to live in Kalani Estates for my life. And by the way, Renee, our uh, citizen panelist, Renee Collins, lives in Hawaii, lives on the Big Island, but she's a long way away from this, but keep safe anyway, okay, because she's feeling the earthquakes. Americans are facing an epidemic of dishonesty in Washington that's more dangerous than terrorism or communism. That's according to former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who warned in a commencement speech on Saturday at Texas's Rice University that an endless barrage of lies and a trend towards alternate realities in national politics pose a dire threat to the U.S. democracy. Uh, the Supreme Court Monday struck down a federal law. This will be a happy news for all of you out there who want to lose all your money. It, it bars gambling on football, basketball, baseball, and other sports in most states and giving the states the go-ahead to legalize betting on sports. That means the individual states can now make the decision so you can bet that, well, you will be able to make the bet that your state will soon be able to have uh, uh, betting on those particular sports. After all, isn't that why those sports exist anyway? Is because of the betting? Anyway, I got a picture for you today. We have a, try to have a picture every day for you. And this one is really interesting. He's a Syrian artist, Abdallah al-Omari. He left his home country in 2012, the year the battle between the rebels and government forces reached the streets of Damascus and Aleppo. Displaced and angry, he sought asylum in Brussels in 2014. 
and that's when he started a series of paintings portraying the world's most powerful and influential figures if they were in the same position that he had found himself in. Here's one of those paintings. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Donald Trump, homeless, a refugee, just I guess like we'd like to see him, okay? Anyway. That's our picture of the day. Now for our video from the, uh, from the uh, uh, citizens panel that took place on Friday. As you may remember the night before we had a guy named uh, SG and he was a rather vociferous and uh, yelling and screaming about immigration and everything. You saw a clip about that the other day, but uh, uh, he never, he never, he kind of never could get his face above eye level on the screen. And uh, that was not lost on our citizens panel the other night. It decided to have a little fun with it. You know, we are, none of us say we don't like Phil. But we it's hate a his we don't like But politics. it's a filthy night. Care. We find his politics absolutely repugnant, and we feel guilty <laughs> about liking him in spite of it. Right. It's true. Hey, well, what do you think? What do you think of Trump? There, uh, here's SG. <laughs> here's that SG Jeff once doing again. The SG. <laughs> Jeff is doing SG. <laughs> yeah. Could be like that guy on uh, like Home Improvement behind the fence, you know? It's, it's the Kilroy Was Here show. <laughs> and that's, uh, <laughs> that's what happened on our Citizens Panel. By the way, you can see the Citizens Panel on our show every Tuesday through Friday night. Uh, uh, at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, okay, Eastern Daylight Time. And uh, you can go to this address, youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett Live, uh, for, forward slash live, youtube.com forward slash Bolo Bennett Live, and then, of course, another uh, forward slash live. And uh, you go there, and uh, you can also tab that in your browser, so it's a permanent page on your browser. And the, by doing that, uh, it will always uh, be doing a countdown to the next show. And when the next show happens, it automatically starts. So put it in your browser, and then you're ready to watch the show whenever you want to. Other times, you can watch us on Facebook, you can watch us on Roku, you can watch us on YouTube, uh, you can watch us on Vimeo. You can watch us a lot of different places, and uh, if you want to find out all about that, go to gabnet.net, G-A-B-N-E-T.net. That's where our community lives, okay? Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett, and that's our news break for today. We'll see you again tomorrow.